Welcome to Seat Bikers today. I am just back from Eurobike 2017 with lots of materials. First one is the top three aluminum alloy cyclocross bikes, and this is the first one, Stevens Gaver or Javer. I'm not sure how to read it even. It weighs 9.8 kilos. It's about 1,300 euros in terms of the price. Components Shimano 105. Uh, I'm gonna give you some main features of these bikes so that you will know maybe how to compare these to other models you would like to buy. Here you can see the bike looks pretty cool. It has 42 millimeters clearance uh, for, for the tires, so this is really good. All these bikes can be used as a commuters or gravel bikes actually. The brakes, TRP Spire Mechanical disc brakes are just very very good and at this price point most of the bikes will have those fulcrum wheels we have uh, through axles here and all of these bikes will have eyelets for mud guards racks whatever you want to mount on your bike you can use it as a training cyclocross and racing cyclocross bikes and also as a commuter so i do like it the cables uh, the cables look pretty neat and the welds around bottom bracket area that's something i will always look at at all of the bikes uh, I'm featuring here. This looks very good, the welds are even, I had no bad comments about it. Here you can see the cable to the rear derailleur. This is the one piece cable, so from the shifter uh, through the whole frame to the rear derailleur there's just one piece cable which is good for the mud. There's a bit more friction on such a, uh, such a system but it will stay cleaner except for <laughs> we've got here the uh, you can see the through axle, but what, I'm, what I want to show you is that there is no uh, additional seal uh, for the cable, which should be there. Uh, because since you have just one piece housing, seal at the end would be a really good thing. You can see the through axle here. Uh, the welds of the rear triangle look also pretty, pretty good. I was really happy looking at this bike. This is 2018. All the bikes are 2018. Finally, you, here you can hear, uh, see the, the eyelet. It looks cool. We've got 2x11 drivetrain, uh, mostly Shimano 105. Uh, the stays are pretty thin, maybe giving you some additional uh, comfort. Uh, here the, uh, here's the additional eyelet on the, on the frame. I do like the bike. Now the question, is this the Shimano 105 crankset? Because, because it says in the description of this bike, I am not sure this is the 105 because the lower models already have the same design. But anyway, this is the compact crankset uh, so that it will fit to your needs. The second one, Fuji Cross 105. We've got 9.35 kg of the weight, 1700 euros. Uh, price and SRAM rival one welt check really good welts all of these bikes have good welts we can see the tapered head tube all of these bikes have tapered head tube the welts there and around the uh, bottom bracket area and the joint with the top tube really good the cables look nice and neat the, we don't have the one piece redirect housing here which is in my opinion better but some in the Mediterranean would like to have just one piece the front cable to the front um, brake goes through the fork inside internally. We've got the mechanical TRP uh, disc brakes, really good ones. Even riding on the hoods is just enough power. We've got through axles uh, on the bike. So I'm happy with the spec of this bike and 9.35 uh, kilograms for the entry level bike. Uh, is really really cool. The derailers of the SRAM look really badass and so does this one. Uh, once more the crankset is also from Rival so no money saving here and one by drivetrain. One by 11 but you can see on the frame uh, there is already routing for the front derailleur uh, cable ready for you and the shifters from Rival from SRAM are different. You need to get used to those but these are very very high quality. And finally, Merida Cyclocross 400. I don't know the price of it and the weight either. It looks very, very good. Merida has high quality bicycles. Uh, I've checked those in many ways, also visiting Merida. So this is not an ad of Merida. Uh, we've got the 105 components here, except for the crankset. But then there was no uh, money saving on the cassette. There's 105. 
This crankset is double one, uh, just as on the Stevens, but the model is uh, Shimano RS500. I would love to have uh, to have 105, but this one is more cyclocross specific, 46 by 36 tooth, which is good. So 105 components means one uh, by 11, this is two by 11, but 11 speed in the rear. So all of these bikes have 11 speed. You can see the eyelets on this bike as well. All entry level aluminum alloy cyclocross bikes will be suitable for commuting. This joint here looks perfect. It is so difficult to make this one looking pretty much as, the, as on the carbon uh, models. Um, so there's always a much more difficult thing to, to shape the aluminum uh, compared to the carbon. We have really nice and smoothened welds here in the front and tapered head tube. And uh, that's what I know what I know for sure from Maria is that the, the fork is full carbon. I don't know about Stevens and Fuji, but this one is full carbon. Uh, the cables down here look pretty nice. The hole for the cables is not too large on some bikes. It's really large, which I didn't like so much. But all these three bikes are really cool. Uh, the tires are here. Maxxis All-Terrain 33C. That would be the standard for for these uh, cyclocross uh, bikes. The through axle only in the front. So Merida is the only bike from this comparison which doesn't have through axle in the rear. It has the quick release in the rear uh, and through axle in the front. And then Stevens, Gaver and Fuji Cross 1.5 will have through axles both front and rear. And also mechanical TRP Spire, really good brakes. Uh, if you want to see my test, the old one of the Merida Cyclocross 500 from 2016, I think, uh, the link is in the description. If you like this series of episodes, just let me know because I've got lots of materials. So the next one will be the carbon bikes, then the gravel bikes, and then we've got all kinds of bicycles for you. Trail, hardtails, full suspension. I did like uh, these three, so this is what I'm featuring here. Thanks so much for, for watching and see you on the next episode.